Go with slow shadow on the mic. I play to win, never to lose. In the contest of champions, I'm the one that shoes. Swipe straight oh, down, my moves are slick. Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick. Class champ, I'm the master of the game. Cosmic science, skill tech mutant, I claim. Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. The fight, I'm swift. My tactics excite. Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world. Marvel, I'm the King Crown, so listen up. Here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another champion. We've got two champions this time. Uh, one of them is a six star, and the other one is a seven star. Now, I am still taking up six stars uh, to at least rank three, but to make the video, they've got to go to at least rank four. This six star, I am planning on taking to rank five, but I ran out of resources, so this champion is only gonna to go to rank four in this video. And then I have a seven star that's gonna to go to rank two. Now, I was actually planning on releasing a video on Beta Ray Bill. But I double-checked the embargo dates, and I can't do it just yet. So I went ahead. I actually made the video, so the video is ready to go. But I had to make this video so that you guys would have something uh, for Friday. All right, now, if you think you can guess who I'm about to take up, let me know in the comments below. But we're about to reveal it in five. Four, three, two, one. First one is going to be Dust. Now, I was going to ascend Dust as well, but ironically, I don't have enough Dust to ascend Dust. But she is going to go uh, up to rank five eventually, and she'll be ascended. Uh, I took a look at her awakened ability, and I definitely am going to awaken her and most likely try to max her SIG out. Now, primarily, she's going to be in battlegrounds, defense, but she's not terrible on offense, especially because I run the Recoil Masteries, Liquid Courage, Double Edge, and she is immune to bleed, poison, and shock. Not only that, but in Alliance War, she's going to be an option for a couple of nodes in Section 2, Path 3. That first node is great for a Bleed Immune champion. If whoever is there has armor ups, you get a bleed. But if you're Bleed Immune, you're good. The next node is a Shock one. Now, Terax is also bleed and shock immune he's not poison immune so she has all of the immunities that i need for that path so i am already liking her now am i going to use her on uh, offense a lot who knows uh, i have other options but you never know when those other options are going to get banned and I'm not able to bring them in. But recently, Kabam has said that Dust is where they want her to be. Now, there is some argument about that. But for my purposes, I think she will do just fine. A lot of people do not know how to deal with her uh, in Battlegrounds. So having her there, for one... It's going to be a magnet for people to ban her. And if they don't ban her, hopefully they don't know how to fight her. And they'll end up losing a lot of health uh, while trying to defeat her. So that's that's the idea. That's the plan. Okay. Um, but I just recently pulled Dust. As you guys, if you've been following me, you already know. Recently pulled her. 
And so she was definitely going to go up. Right now, I'm trying to think. There's not too many other uh, six stars that I want to take up. So a hint for you. Um, the next rank four six star is likely to be Serpent. But I don't have him yet. But as soon as I get Serpent, he's going to get this same dust treatment. He's going to go right to rank four. And if I have enough cosmic uh, T6 class catalyst and, of course, the basics and alphas I need, he's going to go straight to rank five. Uh, no question about that. All right. So now for the last rank up, this rank up is one that I really was debating about. So if you guys have heard me talk about this champion, you will know who it is. And I'm going to give you a few hints. So in this current, um, what is it, higher, higher, faster, let me see. I can never remember um, the name of it. But uh, in this one, you have some rank up uh gems and the end prize is a captain marvel movie seven star okay now i had a champion and it's the uh let me let me look real quick here it's the arcade rank up all right yeah higher further faster okay and in this, you have a three to four, six star rank up gem for Arcade. So that means that they have to have the House of Mirrors or Clarity tags on them. There's some six stones for them. Um, then there's a four to five. And then <clears throat> there is a seven star one to two so the champion that i'm about to take up is either house of mirrors or clarity and i could have used that gem on him but i had no patience and i was like when i get that rank up gem i will just take somebody else up that qualifies for it or just save it all right, so without further ado, this last rank up is going to be Spider-Ham. Now, I remember when Spider-Ham came into the contest, I was laughing, okay? <clears throat> I loved his animation and, you know, the way they did the cartoon styled animation was awesome. All right, <clears throat> but he's actually a really good champion. Just recently... Um, in the Spring of Sorrow, I used him against Viv Vision. He was awesome. And he was only rank one. Ranking him up, I am told, will increase the damage of his Porker Poppers. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm coughing right now. I might need to uh, take some more of my uh, allergy medication. But anyway... Um, It'll increase the damage, so I'm told, of his Porker Poppers, uh, you know, his Power Stings. And I recently got him Awakened, which made him even better. You know, a better chance <coughs> to uh, re-trigger those uh, Poppers. So I am really looking forward to this guy. I will probably take him to rank three when I can. If I get a gem, you know, a, a, a science rank three gem, it's him. If there is an arcade two to three, seven star rank up gem, it's going to him. Okay. Oh, and before I forget, I also decided to ascend Terax because... It seems like I'm going to end up having to use him 
in Alliance War, and I want him to be as strong as he can be for right now. I'm not taking him up to uh, rank five anytime real soon because I need those Cosmics for when I get Serpent. Unless I awaken my seven-star rank two Serpent before I get a six-star Serpent. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena, ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.